put on this screen. So this is, I just, just give you an example of Facebook um, modules for Live Vantage um, distributors. So this is a, a couple. They are all, uh, both of them are Navy officers. They're very busy. They don't have time to talk to people individually, right? They have a very tight schedule. At the same time, they have three daughters, okay? <laughs> and the new one is just a couple months, you know? So they just try to do things more efficiently. So both of them um, figure out a way how to do it, okay? Do the Facebook. So they are 100% of the business coming from Facebook. So they um, produced um, this seven modules. Welcome to Module Social Media Strategies and Proper Facebook Expectations and the Facebook 101 Attraction Market Formula. Okay, this is important because we are the attraction business. Okay, and the method of operation, this is also very important. People were just, wow, well, so excited, I'm not, and they're coming back and do nothing. All right, so Facebook group tutorial, okay, now how to put it all together and the virtual branch. Okay. So now they're just, uh, um, does this become a module for all our life managed distributors? Okay, and it's already proven a uh, successful way of doing it. Okay, so I'm going to mute you, and if you want to say something, you can just uh, unmute yourself, which you are already familiar with. So ready? We move on, huh? Okay. First module. Welcome to LV Social Media Strategies. This is Sam and Ray Allen, and we put together this group so that we can assist everybody in our life vantage community understand how to effectively use social media and specifically Facebook as a tool in your life vantage business. Because we know in 2017 and beyond, social media is a huge part of business and specifically network marketing. So we hope that this is a useful tool to you um, in building your life vantage business and utilizing Facebook. So what you'll find here in, in the group are, are seven Facebook training modules. You can see them right here on the screen. The first one is proper Facebook expectations, followed by Facebook 101. Then you're going to learn the attraction marketing formula, then the daily method of operations, then the Facebook group tutorial, then how to put it all together, and then finally we wrap it up with how to do a virtual launch on Facebook. Uh, each one of these topics is its own training video with associated slides, and they range anywhere from 5 to 12 minutes long. And I ask that you, one, please watch them in the exact order they're posted and the exact order they're listed here. And then please ask all questions directly in the comments of each video if you have a specific question for that particular piece of training. And then that allows us to be able to answer it in a timely manner. Now, a few takeaways from here, the key takeaways. You know, Facebook's a tool, guys. And, you know, we'll cover that way in depth in these training modules. But just please understand that this is not a magic bullet. There's no such thing as a magic bullet. There are no shortcuts in building your business. You have to commit to learning how to properly implement these strategies. And then once you've learned them, you got to understand it takes time. Absolutely. It does take time. And we just want you guys to all, you know, go easy on yourselves. Understand that this is a new concept of using the principles from our proven plan training and utilizing them in Facebook. So understand that it took us all a long time to learn the principles of the proven plan. You know, we went to premier schools, master classes, Life Vantage Academies, you know, month after month, and we listened to Pro Audio, and that's how we learn to master the proven plan. Now we need to learn how to master the social media strategies using the proven plan principles. So just have that perspective. It will take a little bit of time, but it is worth it. And I know that you all can do it. Okay, so your next stop will be the Facebook training video number one, which is proper Facebook expectations. And that'll get you started. And I hope you all enjoy. I can't wait to see how this helps you. Welcome everybody to Facebook training module number one with Ray and Samantha Allen, where we'll be talking about proper Facebook expectations when it comes to building a business online using Facebook. 
And one of my favorite quotes of all time is, techniques, there are many, principles, there are few. Techniques, they will vary, but principles never do. And it's important to remember that the same principles we've used to build our business offline up to this point uh, still apply to everything we do online. However, we're just utilizing a different technique. Uh, Facebook, we're using it as a technique to connect people to information. Really, it's just a tool. And Facebook is a fantastic tool, uh, whether you're using it to connect with the 2 billion people that are on it every day, if you're using this tool of Facebook to build a following of like-minded people, it's an effective tool to create curiosity and educate the world about our life vantage products and the opportunity associated with them. It's also an effective tool to keep your team connected, do proper recognition, keep your team motivated and well-trained. Now, it's also important to remember what Facebook is not. It's not a place to complain. It's not a place to air your dirty laundry. It's not a place to be negative, And it's definitely not a place to argue or start fights. Now, what you see before you here is a depiction of what ancient Rome looked like. You can see the Colosseum, the aqueducts, all these marvels of modern engineering and architecture. But it's important to remember, everyone knows the saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. And that applies to your, your Facebook and your social media presence as well. Right, absolutely. Because building a brand takes time. And your Facebook history matters, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. And what do I mean by that? Well, everybody in this business is coming to Facebook at a different level. Some of you have been using Facebook for many years and have been doing a very effective job of building relationships on it and adding a lot of value to it. Other people have never been on Facebook before, and that's okay because you can learn and we can teach you. But some people have been using it just kind of casually, using it as a place to look at people's pictures or comment here and there. No matter where you are coming from, you just have to give yourself time and realize it takes a little bit of time for people to see you on Facebook and see the things that you're posting, understand your message, and then determine if they want to follow you. And you just need to be cognizant of sharing with people what you are all about. You know, what is your purpose? What's your overall message? And you want to remember who you are trying to attract. And you yourself need to be that person that you're trying to attract. That's the same thing in your personal life as it is on Facebook. You need to portray who you are so that you are attracting the type of people that we are looking to do business with or to share our products with. Now, an effective analogy to help you imagine, you know, what your Facebook account, social media presence should be. And, you know, really, I ask you to think of it like a bank account. And if you go to a bank, you can't really make a withdrawal until you've made a few deposits, right? Well, with your Facebook account, you know, don't expect to start a Facebook, you know, start a Facebook profile, make a few posts, and just expect to, you know, enroll a bunch of PCs or distributors in your first day. Before you do that, before you can make the withdrawal from your Facebook and social media presence, you need to make a lots and lots of deposits. And in the Facebook and social media world, a deposit is adding value to people's lives. Why do they come back and look at your information? How are you creating curiosity through your posts? That is how you add value to people. And that's when you can start to make withdrawals. You've added true value to the marketplace. So in order to do that, in order to use this tool effectively, in order to use Facebook effectively to build your business, you need to commit. And what we ask is that you continue these training modules. You ask questions if anything is unclear in the comments for that specific video, and we will answer them. I ask that you learn this system, you implement this system, and then teach this system to your team if you want to have results and use Facebook the right way in 2017 and beyond. So your next stop here within this group is Facebook training video number two. And in that second module, we'll talk about Facebook 101. Welcome to Facebook training module number two, Facebook 101. So why Facebook guys? Uh, why are we using Facebook to build our businesses in 2017 and beyond? And it's a common phrase in network marketing that in order to build a large organization, you need to go where the people are, right? And there are 2 billion monthly users on Facebook. And it's forecasted that by 2018, there'll be almost 170 million users in the U.S. alone. That's over half the U.S. population on Facebook consuming information and from consuming all their information. So I think it's safe to say that in 2017, that's where the people are. So that's why we're using Facebook. 
Now, some Facebook basics. Uh, if you're watching this video, you are in this Facebook group. So I'm assuming you already have a Facebook profile. So good step one. Uh, the next step is to make your profile more professional as a network marketer and uh, more effective moving forward. So the first step to that is creating a profile picture that's a clear headshot of you. Now, I'm not saying you have to go out and hire a professional photographer. However, people need to know who they're following. You know, I love my three daughters. I love my wife. I love my dog. But people need to see my face on my profile picture so they know it's me, okay? Uh, the next step is to set up uh, a, a cover photo, which is a large banner behind your profile. Now, I like to personally, I have a quote up there that I love, feed your faith, starve your fear, because one, it's bright font that grabs people's attention, and two, it tells them a little bit about me. Um, the next step is filling out your entire profile to give yourself more credibility. So you can see below my name, it has some words that describe who I am as a man and who I am as a person. I'm a husband, a father, a Navy pilot, a disciple of Christ. I'm a wellness entrepreneur, and I'm a residual income enthusiast. It, this tells people a little bit more about who they're following and lends more credibility to you. Now, I will say this. Do not, absolutely do not mention Life Vantage on your profile. Do not say that you're an independent Life Vantage distributor. And this is not because we're ashamed or trying to be, you know, shady or anything like that. We'll explain why this makes sense later on down the road and later on modules. Um, and we'll also get to more, more ways on how you can boost your content and who sees your information. Um, but again, absolutely do not mention uh, Life Vantage or any products on your, on your Facebook page. Also, you definitely want to set your profile to public so more people will see your information. You'll reach more people. <clears throat> so, you know, Facebook basics, you know, do's and don'ts of Facebook. You know, do complete your profile as we talked about. You know, do create curiosity. That's what we're trying to do here. Do engage your audience, people who interact with your posts, people who like, comment, or share your posts. Interact with those people. You know, you want to be interesting. You want people to keep coming back to your page. Um, do add value to the world. Do be respectful. Do Facebook Live videos, and we'll talk more about that in the attraction marketing formula. Uh, do brand yourself. Uh, some things not to do, you know, don't spread yourself too thin. Don't try to master Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all, pairs, all, those, all these social media platforms. Uh, pick one and become very good at it first, and that's what we're doing with Facebook. Absolutely do not become an infomercial blasting sales and specials on your personal Facebook page, okay? When you become an infomercial, people do not watch. Yeah, I haven't had a television since 2011, but I can imagine that if I did, I wouldn't turn you tune into infomercials. People don't consume information that way anymore. Um, do not spam, by the same token, do not spam your news feeds. Um, and don't forget visuals. People want to see things that, you know, draw them into your page, okay? So be attractive in your posts. Absolutely do not send out in personal messages, that's PMs, unsolicited links to your website or any information. Uh, do not share other people's posts because all that does is say that you're a fan of that person and that person's the expert, okay? Create your own content and share and, you know, use, use your content. Do not share other people's posts. Um, again, do not mention Life Vantage and do not mention any product names. Well, again, we'll explain more about this in depth in later modules. For now, please just trust us. Um, so the attraction marketing formula is one that we are actually going to discuss in depth in our next module, which is specifically on this formula. And our objective in implementing this strategy is to build an audience and a following of the life-minded people we want to attract into our business. And how do we do this? We catch people's attention on our Facebook page and add value into their lives, okay? So you can see the formula in a snapshot down there. We're gonna go through it very in depth in our next module. Um, another um, key thing to Facebook is having a daily method of operation. Um, these are daily Facebook action items that we and our team have been using. And again, uh, two trainings from now, we're going to get into this in depth, breaking it down piece by piece by piece, what you need to be doing every single day on Facebook, using Facebook intentionally to grow a business. So these are, again, just very basic Facebooks. The next training module, Facebook training number three, is the attraction marketing formula where we dive in depth into how to apply this formula. 
Welcome to Facebook training module number three, Attraction Marketing Formula. So in the attraction marketing, our objective is to create curiosity about LifeAnage products and opportunity. And how we do it is by building an audience or a following by catching people's attention and adding value. So we're gonna get into a specific formula of how we do that. Now the formula itself, it, it consists of an eight plus four plus two plus one. Um, and this would be two posts, two posts per day. And we really encourage one Facebook Live per week at least. So let's get into the details of what each one of these posts consists of. The eight posts would be value added. These are eight posts that you do throughout the week. And this is just really to paint a picture of who you are and what you stand for. So these posts should be generally positive, uplifting, motivational, um, showing your lifestyle. They should be interesting. They could be funny. Just overall valuable content for people to, to, to add some value into people's lives. Um, so just a couple examples to give you an idea of what we're talking about. On the left, we just have a really nice quote about something that we believe in, which is gratitude and having a daily practice of gratitude. And, you know, it's just a nice picture. It's pretty, it catches your attention. And the quote says, keep your soul rooted in gratitude and your branches open to blessings. Um, and then, you know, just a small little commentary there. It just says, make a choice every day to be thankful. And of course, guys, you can always add some hashtags for just that little extra something if you want. The hashtags do not mean a whole lot. They're not even to tag to another page. It's just if you want to add something, just a, another little line or to kind of, you know, encapsulate the brand and the message. You know, we have attitude of gratitude, hashtag purpose driven life, hashtag live don't exist. Um, just an idea of what you might do, but certainly not necessary by any means. Um, and then the next one, the one in the middle is just kind of a funny, you know, lighthearted uh, post. It's a meme of a shark and it says rare image of a shark stepping on a Lego. And I said every single day or so it seems. Who agrees the struggle is very real? Hashtag ouch. So this one, guys, is just kind of funny and relatable, especially for other parents. Um, I think every parent can relate to this because they know that um, stepping on Legos is something that happens a couple times a week in a household full of kids, and we also know how painful it is. So this is just something that um, people can relate to, and it's funny. So. The one on the far right is a picture of our kids um, eating popsicles at the pool, you know, in the middle of summer with their friends and, you know, just give a little bit of a commentary on it. It says here, it doesn't get much sweeter than this. So grateful for memorable summer moments like this with great friends and our kiddos who will be lifelong friends as well. Hashtag live don't exist. So again, guys, just kind of painting a picture of who you are, what you stand for and what kind of lifestyle um, you, you have. Okay, so four of the posts that happen throughout the week are gonna be a soft promotion. And what these are, they are stories shared about experiences with our products and or you know, interesting information regarding our products, you know, like news articles, highlights, diagrams, et cetera. And the key here is that you wanna do these without saying Life Vantage or the product name. So you don't wanna ever say the company name or the product name. And there's two reasons for this. We're creating curiosity and we need to stay compliant. So on one hand, you don't wanna give out the name of the company or the product because you want people coming to you, asking you for more information because then you can take them down the road of properly educating them so they can make a good decision. Um, and then the other thing is we don't wanna put our company and our name, our, our company name and our product names out there on our public profiles because we wanna make sure we're always staying compliant and we're never linking any claims or any stories specifically with our product name or company. So an example here, um, on the left, I, I just used the, um, the Facebook feature where uh, it, when you go to post a status, you can pick a background, a different color, um, and Facebook really likes you to use this because this is a Facebook product. So that means that they will share your content to more people when you use their products. So it just took a little bit of a, a snippet here from the Washington State University um, study that said the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventive breakthrough in the history of medicine, uh, Washington State University and hashtag activated. Again, 
the hashtag, not necessary, but just something to get people, you know, thinking like, what is that that they're talking about? Um, on the right here, we have a little yellow pill story. So this is a picture of my niece um, right after she was born. And I, I took the picture and I just did a little um, uh, hashtag little yellow pill baby uh, over top of it. And I shared my sister's story. And this is what I said. I said, this is from my sister less than 48 hours after her fifth C-section with her sixth baby delivering two weeks early at the age of 38. And in quotations, this is what my sister said. So far, these are all the statements we've gotten at the hospital. Wow, your milk's in already. That's unusual. Wow, she has absolutely no jaundice. Wow, she's actually gained weight. That's very unusual. Wow, you have no swelling in your legs. And oh, and notice how alert she is. Less than two days old and born two weeks early. Hmm, I wonder why this would be. Hashtag activated. So again, guys, you can really use stories that you have um, from within your group, you know, ask, encourage your distributors to share their stories with any of our products and just use a clever way to not use the name of our product. You know, you can certainly do the hashtag little yellow pill. Um, for some of the other products like um, Axio, we've used hashtag smart energy or for this uh, true science, we, we sometimes use hashtag smart skincare. So really, guys, you're just trying to um, share some some stories uh, that people, real stories that people have had without divulging all the information so that people are coming to you asking you, what is this all about? Okay, so two of these posts are going to be what we call power posts. And, you know, this is where you're really painting a picture for your audience of what life will be like or why you're so excited about building a business of leverage that pays you residually. So again, a couple of examples just to give you some ideas of, of things you might do. On the left, I kind of have a funny meme here. It's Dr. Evil, of course, and he says, everybody's working for the quotation weekend. And I just wrote a little commentary. I said, wrong, not Ray Allen and me. And then I asked, where are all my friends who have decided not to live a life working for the weekend anymore and have discovered the beauty of leveraged residual income in order to live every day like a weekend doing what's most important in life? Drop a like, comment, or gift below if you know what I'm talking about. And then, of course, you can add the hashtags or not. It doesn't really matter. But just causing people to think about a different lifestyle, a different way of making money or um, just getting them excited about a different kind of concept here. Uh, on the right, uh, Ray posted a picture of me and our little baby Stella at uh, the resort at Park City when we were at the Pro 5 Summit. And he had a kind of a clever uh, commentary here. He said, if you'll decide to be resourceful today, you can be resortful for the rest of your life. Hashtag dream bigger. So this again, guys, this is just kind of painting a picture of what life could be like if people choose to uh, do something a little bit different. Okay, now the final thing that we recommend highly is a Facebook Live, at least one per week. And the reason for this is that Facebook really promotes face, um, live videos. So by you doing some live videos throughout the week, at least one, you will get more visibility. Facebook will actually share your content with more people in your network. <clears throat> Just an example here, um, we've, we've shared uh, screenshots of, of two of ours, you know, mine and Ray's on the, on the left side, and then our friends Justin and Kristen, they've got an awesome Facebook Live that they do weekly. And a good way to keep yourself accountable to this so that you know you're doing it every single week is to come up with um, like a series or pick a day of the week that you know every day you're going to do that Facebook Live. For instance, Justin and Kristen had this great idea to do what they call Gratitude Friday. So every Friday they know that they have to get on there and share uh, three things that they're grateful for, which is a wonderful message. And, it, and they encourage their audience to share in the comments things that they're grateful for. And then they also usually drop a little bit of a tip or um, a little bit of wisdom about um, something that they know could be beneficial to people. Like for instance, the one here is a relationship ser series where they just share some tips about, you know, how to have a, a good relationship with your spouse. Um, and it's really awesome. You know, people really enjoy these, uh, these little gratitude Fridays. So they've really built a, a, a really nice following. Um, for us, we've decided to do something called Wisdom Wednesday with Sam and Ray. And again, we just kind of share some some wisdom with people. I know we all kind of take for granted the things that we're learning in network marketing and especially in Life Vantage, but we have access to so many wonderful mentors who are constantly sharing wisdom with us. And by us just sharing that with 
our audience, some people never hear this kind of stuff. You guys, they really are, are yearning to hear this kind of message. So uh, one of the things that you could do, and here we have it, um, you know, recommended here is that we recommend you are, you do a Facebook live based on what you're currently reading or listening to in your personal growth and development. So the idea is to read, learn and teach. So any, it could be anywhere from one to five minutes long. And we just generally want you to share a positive message, a lesson learned or a tip. And it's really easy if you just take a little snippet of whatever you're reading or listening to that week and just share it with the world. Again, you really want to keep it no more than five minutes because most people who are going to be watching these live videos are actually going to be watching the recorded version later. So if they see that it's more than a five minute video, they're not as likely to click play on your video. So start really short and sweet. And uh, as you gain a larger following, maybe you could extend for some, some longer uh, Facebook lives. So uh, the, in, in, you know, to wrap this all up, uh, well, actually a couple other Facebook live tips, just as far as, you know, technicalities of holding the phone and all that, you want to make sure that you hold the phone horizontally because you're going to get a better picture than when you hold it uh, vertically. You want to smile as soon as you hit the live button because Facebook starts recording you even before it really goes live. So you want to make sure that the snapshot that they get is, uh, is of you smiling. And then you want to start right away. You want to get to the point. You don't want to hop on there and just say, okay, I'm waiting for people to hop on. You really want to dive into your message, um, get straight to the point, and then, and then end the live video. Because again, most people are going to be watching this uh, once it's recorded. Um, and then you want to thank people. If they're joining live, make sure you, that you thank them for hopping on. You know, hey, thanks, Megan, for joining us. Glad to have you here. Um, engage your audience if you can. You know, you could ask a question to the audience so that they can comment back. Or if you see that somebody's making a comment to you, read it and, and respond back in your live video. And also, guys, make sure that you have good lighting. Um, it just makes for a better uh, viewing and people are more likely to tune in when they, they can see it better and it looks nicer. So commit to the formula, okay? You got to track your daily posts. You have to track your weekly posts. And you really need to take note of who is engaging your content, you know, who's liking your things, who's co constantly commenting on things, and then be a fan of theirs. So people are constantly liking your things and commenting on your things. Make sure that you uh, return the favor and you go be, f be a fan of their content. Uh, again, this is supposed to be people who are outside of LifeVantage, people who are potential prospects of yours. Um, and really, this is how you build your business. By attracting people, you are taking note of who's following you, and then that's how you're building relationships with people little by little. So we're going to get into the next uh, part of this, which is the daily method of operation in our next training. So head on over to Facebook training video module number four, the daily method of operation. Welcome to module number four, Daily Method of Operation, or DMO. So why have a daily method of operation? Uh, there are several reasons why, but we'll get right into it here. And, you know, first off, it's going to give you daily tasks. So you're not just sitting there scrolling on Facebook aimlessly. You'll have specific tasks you need to complete. Number two, it's going to help you create proper habits to use Facebook as an effective tool. Number three, it's going to keep you accountable. And number four, it's going to set your baseline, okay? And what I mean by this is if your habits in, are, are in place properly on social media and you have a baseline of doing a minimum activity, even on your worst day, you're going to do that minimum and you'll still be using Facebook effectively, moving towards your goal of financial freedom and helping as many people as possible with our opportunity. So here's the checklist that I alluded to uh, in a previous training. This is what our team uses. And we're going to break down each one of these steps for our daily Facebook action items step by step. So step one, birthdays. Uh, Facebook is a fantastic tool, like I said. It even reminds you every single day whose birthday it is. So with that exception, wish everyone a happy birthday on their wall. Now, this is an easy way of getting back in touch with somebody, but it's also going to put you back on their mind when they see, oh, so-and-so reached out to me. It's been a while since I've heard from them. Maybe I should go look at what they're doing. Um, you know, and if you know someone very well, and maybe it's been a little while since you've spoken, um, you know, send them a personal message via Facebook Messenger. 
And also on your birthday, you know, reply with at least a thank you to everyone who wishes you a happy birthday. And if someone leaves an especially nice message, go back and send them another message, you know, saying thanks and, you know, start that conversation. Uh, this is a very simple way to engage with people. All right, the second step, uh, building, you know, building your database is such an important skill and uh, really a good habit to have in network marketing, right? So adding three new friends is a daily habit that you should be doing every single day. Now, again, these are just a minimum. Now, it's important to note that, you know, don't just go add three people who are in live vantage because you know they're going to accept your friendship. You know, that doesn't really expand your business, doesn't really expand your workable network, right? So in doing this, finding three new people every day, it's going to expand your database. And there are tools within Facebook that can help you do this. It actually has a find friends feature. So go in there, look for, you know, people who are positive, people who are active on Facebook, and people who have lots of friends. Because people who are positive, people who are active on social media and have lots of friends are going to have influence. And those are the types of people that you want in your business. The third step is to send three new messages every day. Okay. Now, Again, I think it's important to note that, you know, not three messages to people who are already in Life Vantage. They are never going to be in your business, okay? So send three new messages to, you know, catch up with an old friend. You know, if someone you've noticed has been engaging in your content or commenting on your Facebook Live videos, reach out and say thanks for liking and, you know, getting into my posts and commenting on my posts. I'm glad you found some value from it. Bottom line, guys, you want to start conversations because, you know, the more conversations you have, the more chances you're going to have to find someone's pain, right? And until you find someone's pain, you can't offer them a solution, okay? And absolutely, absolutely do not, in the first message you send to somebody, send them a link to your business to the ABC limit. That's the equivalent of walking by somebody in the grocery store that you haven't seen in three years, and instead of asking how you're doing, you're just saying, hey, you got to see my business. No one would do that in a million years, so, you know, don't do it on social media, okay? Another thing we do is three minimum engagements a day. And what I mean by this is, you know, again, not someone in life vantage, but when I say three engagements, I mean, look for positive posts out there from someone who's not in life vantage on Facebook, something that you like or can comment on. Okay. Now, now think about this. We talked about, you know, thinking about the types of people you want to attract in your business those people that you're adding as new friends, people who are positive, active on Facebook, and have a lot of friends. So go find people who are putting positivity out to the world, okay? Engage their posts. Let them know that you appreciate the positivity they're putting out there. If they have a like-minded with the way they uh, treat their body nutritionally, you know, if they're like-minded people in that regard, go out and become their fan, okay? Celebrate other people's success. If someone's lost weight, someone got a promotion in their job, Go out and be people's fans, okay? Go just out-friend people. Um, and in doing so, when you engage with other people's posts, they're going to start to see you on their feed, okay? You're going to pop into their brain and they're going to think, oh, I should go check out their Facebook page and see what they've been up to. Because I guarantee you, before they reach out and ask how you're doing, they're going to go to your Facebook page first and, you know, check it out, okay, to see what you've actually been up to. So three minimum engagements with people, whether you're liking, commenting, or just engaging with other people's positive posts. And I will warn you, don't get sucked into the scroll spiral on Facebook where you're scrolling for hours looking for positive things, okay? Uh, a, a good trick we like to use is have, you know, a, um, you know, set up a time window. I'm going to spend 15 minutes. I'm going to scroll until I find somebody that I like. Now, don't just go around blindly liking things either, okay? Facebook actually in their new algorithm can tell how long you've read a post, okay? So don't stop at a post that seems positive, that's a long read, and like it immediately without looking at it, okay? Um, if you're going to like something, make sure you actually like it. <clears throat> Another skill is three posts minimum a day, and that's utilizing the attraction marketing formula. Uh, if you have any questions about that, you can go back to module number three where Samantha outlines the attraction marketing formula in depth. And bottom line, guys, just have a plan to keep yourself accountable. Now, this is a sample. You know, this is just an example of how you could possibly spread them out, you know, through your week to make sure you're getting those three minimum posts a day, but also covering that 13, 6, and 2 formula, of course, with the one additional Facebook Live video. This is just an example schedule of something you can do. So take it, run with it if you'd like. 
So again, guys, we went over the daily method of operation here. You know, it's going to give you a, a list of daily tasks to complete. Um, over time, it may seem hard at first, but you're going to develop the proper habits that allow you to be effective on Facebook. Number three is going to keep you accountable so you can look back. And if you're not having results, you can look back and say, okay, you know, maybe I, maybe I didn't do everything I was supposed to do. And then four, like we talked about, it's going to set your baseline, your minimum activity level. So even on your worst days, if you hit that minimum level, you're still going to be using Facebook effectively and moving towards your ultimate goal. So thank you for watching this module. Uh, your next stop is Facebook training number five, and that's the Facebook group tutorial. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Welcome to Facebook training module number two, Facebook 101. So why Facebook, guys?